Hey, YouTube, Joe here again. Time for another fresh uh, dehydrating video. What I've got here inside this stainless steel bowl is a few pounds of extra lean ground beef. And when we're doing it this time, I got uh, two pots of boiling water on the stove. What I've done before is fry it up and then uh, put it in a colander and rinse it with boiling hot water. But this time, rather than frying it and searing meat, we're going to boil it in a pot of boiling water. Then we'll drain that in the colander, and then we'll pour another pot of hot water over it. That's going to remove virtually all the fat from it. So I got my water at a nice rolling boil. And now, ground beef, I've already got it broken up into little bits. And we're just going to, ouch, scoop her out here. small pieces. We're going to let that come back to a rolling boil, cover it up, and let it simmer for a little while. And what we're going to do after that, we're going to have this bowl washed back out. What I did in the past would, I just put the hamburger in the colander and uh, drain it with hot water, boiling hot water to rinse it off, but I was wasting all, all that water, which is essentially beef broth. So this time I'm going to get the extra broth out. Set that aside, put that in some mason jars, set that aside. I use that in some soups as well. Anyways, I'll be back in a few minutes after that boils up, and we'll get on to the next part. Hey, and we're back. So the ground beef has been boiling away for a little while. I turned it down to a simmer, it's still bubbling away. That is definitely fully cooked. Got a stainless steel bowl here. I'm going to drain that into it using the colander. Set aside this broth for later, pull the colander out, and then just rinse it off with a second pot of hot water. Put it on the oven mitts before I grab that hot pot. That would not be cool. <laughs> no pun intended. And we'll just drain her off. Hold on one second, I'll grab a spoon here and scoop up that last bit of the ground beef. over the ground beef in the colander, rinse off as much of the remaining fat as we can. at home, this particular batch we're doing up to take on some upcoming uh, new camping trips, uh, some bicycle touring, things like that. I'll be using that in my cooking out on the uh, trips itself. And I'll talk more about that later in this video. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. Time to start loading up the dehydrator. Get these guys off. Uh, the ground beef is drained for a while, so there's a lot of moisture already gone from it. Break up the bigger chunks a little bit. Spread it out. Just 
just bear with me a couple of minutes here. This won't take long. Going up a fairly small batch. There's times when I use a couple of dehydrators and put on a much larger batch than this, but today just a short batch, getting ready for a couple of little trips I have coming up. that I'm doing here today, I could probably get this on just two trays. But instead of doing that, I've got to use all four anyways to get the right spacing. So I'm just going to spread it out real nice and if anything it's going to dehydrate a little bit even faster to this time around. The temperature we want for doing these is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This has an adjustable temperature gauge on it. Grab my glasses here, make sure I'm seeing this properly. A few strays trying to get away here, I see. Pop those guys back on. 160. That's where we want the temperature. Pop this on. Now, in just a second, I'm going to plug her in, turn it on. It's probably going to take, I'm estimating, 8 to 12 hours, probably closer to 8 for this batch, it's a small batch. Every couple of hours I'm going to come check it, turn some of the pieces over, make sure it's too close and touching, and then rotate the trays, get nice even dehydration. So I'm going to plug her in over here. Uh, you can still see that. Turn her on now. And the dehydrator is started. I'll let that run once it's all finished. I'll shoot the last part of this video, put it all together, and get it uploaded to you guys. Be back soon. Hey folks, so we're back. Uh, yesterday we started this video for dehydrating some ground beef, and I made one mistake in that. I was saying I had three pounds ground beef. It was actually closer to two pounds, maybe 2.2 pounds, which would be a kilogram. When I weighed it, I had it in a stainless steel bowl, and I had forgot to roll the scale back to counter for the weight of the bowl. I just realized that afterwards, and I corrected my mistake, and wrote a little update for myself. So, there we have it. The ground beef is now fully dehydrated. I'll set the cover over there. Tilt this over a bit so you get a little bit better look. I don't want it to spill all over the place, so I won't go too far here. Anyways, like quick overview, review. We put it in a pot of boiling water, boiled it up, broke up all the chunks into small pieces, let that boil for a while, drained it in a colander into a stainless steel bowl, checked the broth, didn't want that to go down the drain, and ended up with a couple of liters of nice beef broth. I used some of that earlier today on a nice soup for my lunch. And uh, now it's time to scoop this up and put it into a container. What I usually do is put it in mason jars, but for this one we're going to go with just a little Ziploc bags because this is all being used on a canoe trip that's coming up very soon. It's all in nice small pieces, very dry, moisture's completely gone, and there is virtually zero fat remaining in this stuff. It is so lean. Now as I scoop this up, it's going to take a couple minutes, and you probably don't want to watch all this, so I'll be back when I have all four trays done up and into the bag, and we'll chat a little bit more. Be right back. Okay folks, so we're back. All that ground beef, which was just under one kilogram of ground beef, is now less than 200 grams. So way, way down on weight, super compact. Perfect for packing up for a backpacking trip, or in this case, coming up uh, some canoe camping. I'm getting ready to go out on a boat, a seven day, maybe 10 day trip on Lake Superior solo canoe. And this is going to be part of my meal plans. I'll be doing a lot more dehydrating in the coming days to get ready for this trip. 
Uh, I also do this throughout the year, especially when I find a good deal on lean ground beef, or actually extra lean ground beef is my preference, which is what this is. Uh, I load up on that. If I don't have freezer space, I'll always dehydrate some. I like to have some of that on hand as well. Especially in a situation you don't want to thaw out a full package of ground beef. If you want to throw something in a small recipe that you're doing in the kitchen, you just take a little bit of dehydrated stuff that you already have ready to go, and you're off. So anyways, that's it. It took about eight hours to dehydrate this batch. It came out really nice. And I'm going to set this aside for my canoe trip. And well, what I'm going to do right now is take this footage, put it together into a video, and get it posted for everybody here on YouTube. And then I'm going to go start uh, working on my trip plan for the canoe trip and getting my gear ready. All I'm waiting for for the canoe trip is right now we are under a campfire ban in this region and I'm waiting for that to be lifted. I want to have the campfires. So after that, the trip is on and I'm looking forward to it. So leave your comments down below, hit the like button. If you haven't already hit the subscribe, do that. I would appreciate that very much. And we will be back to talk to you again real soon. Thumbs up. So the food dehydrator that I used in this video is the Sultan Vita Pro. I've had it for about seven or eight years now. And if you're interested in it, there will be links to it below in the description box for you to check it out. Thanks.